Hi everyone, welcome to Royal Visuals. If you're new here, my name's Matt. If you aren't new here, then I'm still Matt. So let's continue with the video. Today I'm going to show you how I made my channel intro, which is what you're about to see now. So let's get started with the video. So welcome everybody. So what we're going to do today is we are going to create a channel intro, sort of something that's quite cool, dynamic, shows you what the channel is about. With this intro, what we're going to do is we're going to put the selected clips into Premiere Pro. Okay, so we've got all them mounted up. That's brilliant. So if you highlight all them, so you can drag your mouse over, highlight, or you can Control A, that will highlight them all also. And from there, so. Uh, from here, make sure you've just got everything and you can move these all along, but make sure you've just you've roughly got a kind of in time with the beat. It just means it's quicker in After Effects. So from there, let's say you control control A and then you go replace with After Effects composition. So I've already got to this bit, so I'm just going to open After Effects and we'll go from there. As you can see here, this is my pre-built intro. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how I went creating this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just take off all we'll just take off all these that we don't need to see. So okay, right. So if we can do that, and then great, brilliant. So as you can see at the start, I started with the trail dog. And with this. With this trail dog, I added an effect called offset. So if anyone wants me to go through this from the beginning, rather than showing you what I did, then please let me know in the comments and I'll happily make a video. It'll probably be a bit longer because there's a lot that goes to this, but say if that's what if that's what you want, then I don't mind giving, giving you that. So, yeah, so this was offset. So what you do is you move this up and down and you set your keyframes. So you have your start there, and that's where you want to end. And from here, you just you just shake it about, and then make sure it goes to 1080 there or whatever resolution you're using. So as yeah, as you can see, as you can see here, so I've already, this has already been done. So without the effect, this is what it looks like. So we say there's not much, not much to it. If we turn the effect on, you can see what happens here. Just gives it a little bit of a rolling effect and it looks quite good when played fast. What we have done also is I'll, I'll go from the bottom to the top. Is I added an effect called grid and circle and I'll show you what that one is and how to get to that effect. So first what you want to do is you want to go to your effects and presets over on your right and just type in grid and that should be generate grid. That's all you need there. And when that's down, you also need to add circle. So if you can see circle there, you just drag and drop that on. So what you need to do to create this grid and circle is you need to right click new and then you need to solid. So what you need to do is just do this as a black solid. So color black. Okay. Okay. That's fine, leave everything as it is. Name it to grid and circle. From here, you so say you put your effects in. So you just go up to here, press circle in your top right in your effects and presets. Um, create a circle, generate circle. So pull that over and drag that over onto your, your solid. And then do the same with grid. So with grid, you just need to grab that, put it onto your solid. That's brilliant. Uh, to rename this, all you do is click on it and press enter and then rename to your heart's content. So with grid, what we need to do is, as you can see, that's what it's like when it's off. You can see my, my keyframes here. So I get one at the start and then I put mine just roughly halfway through and 
that, as you can see in the left, all I'm doing here as we go frame by frame, from here, you, I choose just halfway through here. It doesn't have to be a quick, uh, quick transition, but it looks nice. So all it does is the width just shrinks and the border gets thinner. So as it comes in, it's just a nice quick, nice quick little transition, which makes it look cool so you can see. See there? And now we're on to the third. Uh, yes, just make sure this is select a whip slider, not corner point or height and width. I think it works best with whip slider, so keep that. Okay, now we're on to the the second video, and this is this isn't anything too much on here. All I've done is just I've just I've just brought the scale up so it's a bit more zoomed in. As you can see there, it's only a few seconds, and we are on to the next transition and i think the tr transitions are the ones that make this um, it's quite fast paced and i think transitions make this what it is so from so from there so we've got box one and box two and these are the boxes you see that slide in so this is very very simple one two so we'll just switch them on there and all this is is just a box where I've just done a, a simple mask brought that in say mask one and mask two and all these are are just sliding in using the position using the, using the position here Using the triangle, using the position here, so that's quite simple. And just marry them up as the best you can, and that looks job done. Uh, the other thing I've done here is I've dropped the opacity to sixty-five. So if we put it up to one hundred, you can see it doesn't look that good. So I kept it about six fifty to sixty-five is reasonably good. Okay, on to the next part. And that say so that's just simple, just boxes sliding over, nothing, nothing big, nothing crazy. And this then just flicks on to the next one, which is the mountain bike. Duplicated the grid and circle over onto the next part. So I'll show you how to do this little quick transition. So if we go from here, so I've still got grid and circle, just copy and paste. So you can just do a, uh, you can either do a control D, which duplicates, or you can do a control C, control D, same thing, whichever you find easy, but it's just control D is the quicker way. And then when you've, when you've duplicated that, you can just push it up wherever you want and rename. Simple as that. Okay, right. So this one is just, again, is just another mask, but I will show you how it's done. Let me find which one it's at. Okay, so this is mask. And what I've done is I've turned this to add. So this basically just adds to the picture. Uh, I've left the boxes in because I feel like it slots into that box and then goes into goes into the full frame. I think it looks quite cool. So from there, all I've done is again transform, just dragged it into position. When it hits the position, I've then got rid of the boxes. Boxes are flashed off. All that is there's box one and two, as you can see. Here, these are just keyframes in from there. So as soon as they go, so yeah, they're just simple as that. I've just so darkened that mask so it looks better. 
Okay, so on to the next one. Left that full frame, make sure it all marries up with the with this bit when you've masked it out, make sure it isn't off in any way and then you're free to go on to the next one. I've kept the grid and circle on uh, for this bit. Um, and I say what I did was it coming in and I've widened the widened the grid so so I scaled it up. I've just done that as I'm passing through just so it looks quite cool like I'm following that grid. And then that leads me on to the the coffee one. Okay, so I think we're halfway through at the moment. Great. So all this is this is in an existing video uh, where I just got a flick it and it seemed to have worked really well as this part so I didn't have to do anything but the easiest way to do this is if you wanted to do a solid and if you go black yep that's cool good and the easiest way to do this is what you would do is you would just frame by frame on here you would just have to cut frame leave a frame frame leave a frame and that's what gives you that flicker effect uh, i can show you how to do that in another tutorial that will be coming out in the future which adds a little bit of extra to your to your videos it's quite cool if you're editing to the beat especially if you've got like a fast beat or you want a glitch kind of effect it's it's quite good so that's all that i've done with that one okay moving on to my dogs running and this is just a simple shape layer and I'll show you so this was just a slide slide over again offset so same as the other easy kind of position switch which makes it look like it's a cut sort of sliding effect you can get the sliding effect but I'm um, in the effects menu, but I thought this was this seemed quite nice, fitted in quite well. So moving on to the little spinning square, this was quite easy. I'll show you what that's done now. So to, for that, all you have to do is go to shape, rectangle tool, and just draw a rectangle. If you hold shift while doing this, it all means it'll turn into a, a good, perfect square, which is brilliant as what we want. And then just select the selection tool again. That's brilliant. You can size this to what you want. If you hold shift, again, it'll grow. In. So what I did with this shape layer is I just transformed it. A lot. So you can see here, I've got these keyframes. And I just transformed it so as you can see see here I've just scaled it from zero left it to that scale and then brought it back down with again with the offset which looks quite good you see here the rotation as I've just moved it 45 to 135 to 135 to back to 45 and that just kind of spins out with that with that again with the offset effect as you can see i'm using that quite a bit at the moment but i feel it gives it that quite dynamic nice yeah i see there you go offset effect there and that just flicks it that just flicks flicks it up with like a rolling film We'll now move on to, these are just adding pictures, which is all fun. Uh, you can make sure these are all in order. Okay, so all this was is just a simple for blending, which gave it a nice color overlay. I just faded this in. So the opacity, you can see there, is just fading in, which is quite nice. And 
what I've, what I've done there is I've just brought the opacity down as well just as I bring the letters in if you do this on the layer above it means it means the writing stands out quite well if you're on a if you have your white writing on a quite a sort of dark background it stands out quite well and with this all I've done here the standard image just used a bit of blending just to drop the drop the opacity down a bit just to give it a bit of sort of like old school kind of vibe and I've just basically separated the the C, D and the E from create as you can see there and all these are is just a quick position change using keyframes again just drops in make sure they're lined up or lined up to how you feel they should be and that's just bringing them both in at the same time so you can kind of copy these open transform and then paste the jobs are good and what I do here is just right click on the keyframes Go to keyframe assistant and just do easy ease and that'll give that a really nice kind of just like nice flowy move in. It won't be too harsh, which is quite good. And I've just done the same with with Learn. So I've just got the N. Chose another background again, done the same with the opacity. This time my camera and if we bring the bring all these on you can see what I've done here so I've just slid these in I think if you get them coming from different directions it a bit more a bit more dynamic in it I feel like it it's really good it looks really good so that's what I've that's how I've done that you can do it completely different have it coming in from the sort of corners each corner you can have the word dropping down have it how you want which I've but I felt like this made it quite easy and simple and so it was, easy to read easy to read before it went off right now we are on for the final pictures and for this transition I basically split these in half well, okay so that's the video so what I did with this video is I used the mask mask one and mask two and here after that I've just split these two up so if I can just select them see the videos just coming in from both angles that's just a mask just moving so if I show you there I've just done an add effect so it go so it overlays and that just brings that together and as it comes in it closes the old one out and then as it as it as it closes it takes away learn I feel that look that happens quite quick and quite nice the video and the final bit was just a little break and we've got the final we've got the final pictures So yeah, it's just all masks, it's just mostly masks, a couple of effects here and there. And just a little break in between that. And all this is is just matching these up with the beat in the outro, outro. but here this is just a simple... Just a simple scaling as you can see on these so I've just scale then scale out scale in again scale out and then I've just had the logo popping up and then a then an easy Just an easy fade on the opacity to end and that is essentially how I did my intro so if we just bring this all the way back 
and close all these, make sure they're all switched on and you can see it from the start. Okay, that's brilliant. So when you're done with that, all you have to do is file, make sure you've saved along the way and saved just before. So I'll just do a quick save and then you can go to export, export to Premiere Pro project, save it as what you wish, I'll just save that as three and then do a save. It'll be here as uh, as your comp, as you've as you've set it up. Um, so when you've done that, what I would recommend is if you control A and you, so what you can do is you can pre-compose, use it as anything you want. So new like intro, and there we are. That'll just be complete one. So if you want to add anything else to it, you can do. So you can add anything you want to, but. I like to keep it as this, just so if I want to change anything, if I get bored, I can change things around and make it a little bit different. So when you've done that, all you have to do is go back to here and it'll just, as whatever you've called it in After Effects, it'll be down here. You just like make sure these two are linked. And render. This is dependent on your PC spec. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully it helped you out to create your own new kind of dynamic intro for your own channel. I have created a Discord channel which I will link in the description so if you want to join that it's going to be a community based around everything filmmaking, vlogging, tutorials and we're just there to have fun, have a chat about all of them topics and yeah just be nice and kind to each other so yeah make sure you join that in the description if you want some templates if you want the templates i use to put your own footage into then please again leave another comment below and i'll put a link in the description so you can come back to and grab the templates to make your own sort of video and please like subscribe and just leave a comment if it helped you with that i shall see you in the next one bye